Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video We're gonna be talking about what would have happened if Arthur Morgan never died and lived after the ending of Red Dead Redemption 2 So this is something I've been thinking about a lot recently and I wanted to see how it would have an impact on not only RDR 2 But also the first Red Dead Redemption game because remember it, it comes after uh, our time in RDR 2 so let's sort of go in chronological order here because I think that would ultimately make the most sense. Now, we, we really start to see the effects of Arthur's tuberculosis, especially on the gang, in Chapter 6. So I would assume that everything from Chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4 would continue as normal because Arthur was still pretty much operating at a healthy level, still taking commands from Dutch, but chapter 6 is where I think things would take a rather swift turn. So the first thing I think would not have happened is the rise of Micah Bell. So I think the reason that Micah Bell ultimately gains so much power, especially in chapter 6, is because of the demise of Arthur, who has always been Dutch's right-hand man. However, Dutch is smart and can see that Arthur is sick. He even acknowledges this in the final mission of the game or the second final mission of the game. He says, like, you know, you're not doing too well. So he needs someone that's strong and sort of Micah just fills the place for Arthur, which is kind of sad, but that's how it works. So I don't think that Micah Bell's rise would have ultimately happened. Now, just because Micah Bell rose in the ranks of the gang, I still believe that he would have been the rat and been telling them all about the bank robberies and whatnot. I mean, you don't have to be a high-ranking officer to be a rat, so I still think that that would have happened. I also think that Arthur would have been able to help way more people escape the gang. It's pretty clear he realized what was going on here was not right. And he brings this up to Dutch a handful of times throughout the story that he wishes that Jack and Abigail and the rest of the women and, you know, even people like Uncle and Pearson were able to leave more peacefully because they didn't really contribute anything, uh, at least violently, to the gang or being able to defend themselves. So he wanted to let them go, but Dutch wouldn't have it. And I think that if Arthur was strong enough, all of those people would have gotten out of the gang way earlier. Now, for the most part, all of them end up surviving, but who knows how different their lives would have been if Arthur could have gotten them out just a little bit earlier. Now, let's move on to the ending. I think that the ending would have pretty much remained exactly the same up until the very end. I think that Arthur would have rescued Abigail from getting captured. He would have killed Agent Milton, albeit it probably wouldn't have been such a struggle because the only reason Agent Milton had such an upper hand was because of Arthur's weakness. And I think everything would have remained status quo up until the very final part of the game. Now, this is where I could see things taking a completely different twist, because remember, at the end, John and Arthur have that sort of meeting of the minds where they say, okay, John, you're going to go. I'm not going to make it. I'm too sick. Only one of us is going to survive. Let me fend off the Pinkertons. And that's where the fight with Micah happens. Well, if Arthur wasn't sick, he wouldn't have had to have that conversation. I guess the only conversation he would have had with John is, am I going with you? Or are we going to stay here and we are going to fight Micah? So here's where there could be many forks in the road. Uh, Arthur could have ended up killing Micah, which I believe he would have, uh, given the way their fight went. Even at, Arthur is on like his last leg, and he puts a real hurting on Micah. In fact, in one of the scenarios, he even takes his eye from him. So Arthur did some serious damage. So I think a fully healthy Arthur would have had no problem taking out Micah Bell. And I think either way, he would have eventually escaped with John. And uh, after that, that would have a huge impact on, obviously, the rest of the story. Now, before we talk about John's story, let's talk about what likely would have happened with Arthur's story. So, throughout the game, and even a couple of times, he mentions to other characters that he would probably move back out west, somewhere to California. Uh, in fact, he even kind of jokes with the doctor when he's getting his tuberculosis diagnosis that that's kind of what he would do. Take a listen to this. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. 
Oh, you mean you're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. and Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. So I think it's pretty obvious that Arthur Morgan would leave the gang life behind and would just go live a quiet life out west, probably somewhere in California, and would likely just grow old and try and relax. Because remember, at this point, his, his son had been dead for a couple of years. Um, he wasn't like romantically involved with anyone. Now, speaking of that, there's a good chance he probably would have reconvened with Mary Linton. Because as you know, if you watch the credits of the game, uh, she's still alive by the epilogue and is mourning Arthur's death. So number one, it looks like she's still single. And number two, she still very much cared about Arthur. So I feel like if he had the chance to run away with her, he absolutely would. And that's just something that would have happened. So I feel like Arthur's ending would have been very peaceful. Like he literally just probably would have built himself a house in a wide open space in California and be living with Mary Linton, probably starting a family uh, and just settling down. His life probably would have been very, very different. Now, let's shift our attention to John Marston and the rest of his family, Uncle Abigail and Jack. How would this have an impact on him? Well, I still think that John would basically, for the most part, still struggle to live a normal life, like kind of what we saw uh, from the end of chapter 6 to the beginning of the epilogue where they can't seem to settle down and they're always going from place to place. John can't seem to get rid of his outlaw life. And I do believe that he would eventually do all the things at uh, the Pronghorn Ranch and then go on to build Beecher's Hope. But you need to remember the only reason that John Marston got dragged into the events of Red Dead Redemption is because of what he did at the end of the epilogue. And that is going to get revenge for Arthur by killing Micah. Well, if Arthur's alive and if Micah's dead, he would have no reason to do that. Uh, he would basically just be free to live his life at Beecher's Hope. So if you're starting to connect the dots here, no Micah Bell, no revenge mission, no Pinkertons finding Micah at the top of the mountain. They don't do any investigations. They never find John. So is John technically free to live the rest of his life all by himself, too, with no one to bother him? Well, I still think that even if Rockstar wanted to let Arthur Morgan live, and if, let's say, everything I've said so far is true, I still think the events of Red Dead Redemption could play out. Because think about it. John still lived within the boundaries of the Red Dead Redemption map and the Red Dead Redemption 2 map, really close to Blackwater. Arthur would have moved to California, somewhere way out west, they likely wouldn't have found him. So there's a good chance that even without the investigation done by the Pinkertons, John still could have been found and discovered by them and then required to go about the missions that he did in Red Dead Redemption, where he has to find his old gang members, Bill, Javier, and I guess you could even add Joe and Cleet to the list. Because remember, they were both killed in the final mission of the game too. So I'm guessing that they would still be alive, although you could argue that because Micah doesn't have a gang, that they their paths might have been altered too. Uh, they were like super late additions to the gang. So who knows? I think it would be very interesting to see what would happen here. I know that there's so many people that are incredibly saddened by Arthur's death and that they just wish that they could do anything in the world to prevent it. And although I never think we will see a version of Red Dead Redemption 2 that I just mentioned where Arthur lives and Micah dies and he gets to sort of ride off into the sunset, it is sort of cool to think about and see how it might ultimately change the impact of the game. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think would have happened if Arthur Morgan didn't die and lived after the ending. 
Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.